Welcome biologists and in this session we'll be finishing off the specification point that's looking at the factors that can affect evolution of a species. So in this video we're going to have a look at genetic drift, genetic bottleneck and the founder effect. The bits in green we had a look in part one. Okay so genetic drift, this is the random change in the frequency of alleles over time and this comes about due to the genetic variation that is created when you make gametes. Now, genetic variation occurs when you're making gametes through the crossing over at prophase one and the independent assortment that occurs at metaphase one and two. Now, as a result of this random change and variation within the gametes, over time, some of the, some alleles may be lost and others may increase in frequency purely due to chance. Now, genetic drift will impact on smaller populations a lot more than the larger ones because in smaller populations, rare alleles are more likely to be lost um, or equally, these rare alleles could then increase as well uh, and have be, this small population could end up very different to the uh, large population. But normally what happens within smaller populations is you get a decrease in genetic diversity due to genetic drift. Genetic bottleneck is next. So in a genetic bottleneck, this comes about due to a massive reduction within the population size. Now, this is usually due to a natural disaster or human impact. So natural disasters such as an earthquake, a volcano, a fire, for example, or human impact such as poaching. Now, as a result of this massive reduction in population size, it causes a massive reduction, therefore, within the gene pool. And if I have a massive reduction within the gene pool of a population, it means that this population will have a decreased chance of survival from things such as disease. And this is because the remaining individuals within the population will have very similar genes. Um, this smaller population will also have have a higher impact from genetic drift and it will be more unstable. Examples of genetic bottlenecks are the northern elephant seal and the cheetah. Now the northern elephant seal, this was hunted near to extinction. There were only about 20 individuals left. So as a result, there is a massively reduced genetic variation in comparison to the southern elephant seal. With cheetahs, again, these have, the population size of cheetahs have been massively reduced due to poaching. So therefore, cheetahs have a massively reduced genetic variation within their population. For example, the cheetahs that are left share about 99% of similar alleles with other cheetahs. And normally, this is about 80%. So again, massively reduced variation within the population size. Uh, the next example is the founder effect. So the founder effect, this is where I have a few organisms from a population which go off and start a new population. So as a result, this smaller population will have a smaller number of alleles from the initial population. Now, this new population will grow with this reduced genetic diversity and reduced genetic variation. And therefore, this smaller population will be more likely to be impacted by genetic drift. So you're more likely as well within this population to find an increase in recessive disorders within these smaller populations. And an example of this is the Amish community. Now, this was established by approximately 200 Germans. And within this original population size of these 200 Germans, we had a high frequency of a syndrome called Ellis van Creveld syndrome, which resulted in shorter individuals with polydactylism. Now, po po polydactylism is where you have more than five fingers. So as a result of this founder effect, we found within this Amish population, we had an increase in this rare and recessive disorder. So there we have it. Those are all the factors that impact and affect the evolution of a species. Guys, good luck with your exams and remember to use good scientific terminology within your answers and not it, they, amount and size. Good luck with your studies.